summit, in my opinion, has come at a very, very uh, opportune time because this is the time that Ghana is also doing everything we have to do to transition to secular economy. And the theme for this summit fits in very, very well with what we are doing in the country. We are incredibly excited to be hosting uh, you on this side of the continent and we hope that this West Africa Summit will become uh, as big as of the convenings that we've had in Nairobi as well as in Mumbai over the years. go to university to go and get a degree and you spend six months or you spend a year to do a master's or two years, you know, but being here for two days has offered me perhaps, you know, what it would take to read a book in one week. Entrepreneurs are the most innovative. Entrepreneurs need support. And entrepreneurs have all the power to transform Africa. What you need is to start with those who are willing, have the capacity, and then move them. That's the first point. And in moving them, you invariably move the rest with you. For the business ecosystem, you cannot make any relevant decision without accurate data. So I was very happy because it's not what I came to the summit for, but I think that's the great thing about the summit. It opens your eyes to many different things. It has been more about how the whole event sort of connects um, weed entrepreneurs to stakeholders. So more like development partners, more like government partners and some kind of investors as well. I'm excited for the fashion show because it's where we actually get to showcase our work and get to see people um, give us real feedback in real time. Earlier I was actually at the deal room also presenting to investors and we got to have feedback from them and it was incredibly helpful for our fundraising journey and we actually got to meet potential investors. Zero test track. I think it's one of my favorites um, and because they're really cool bikes uh, but more on the impact side is that I think we're taking the steps that are necessary to have the necessary net zero conversations which has it's one of those things you've people describe it but when you begin to see the products and services that are actually solving the problems it changes the, the perspective. I first attended Sunculpt in, in Nairobi, Kenya. Uh, I realized I was building good pipeline, building good traction, getting good connections, uh, forging networks, and that uh, created the itch for me to uh, come to Sunculp West Africa in Accra. The icing on the cake for me has been the people I've met. And I'm going to use the database of contacts that I've collected to build another network. This will help foster those ecosystems to address the challenges that uh, Africa is facing and also make up uh, uh, the opportunities. It's